Good morning, community. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening Canning Recipes. A little bit of everything. You can see everything is dry. And it's not the thing we want to see on 4th of July, that's for sure, because they'll be shooting fireworks out here tonight. I think this has become one of my least favorite holidays of the year um, because this is when I have to leave with my dog and Greg and Pop have to stay behind and make sure the property don't burn down. But uh, you can see from the beginning of the video just how dry things are here in Texas. Uh, we're getting those big cracks in the ground again, but we think relief is on the way. So Greg mowed over here and then he mowed the next door neighbor's property. It's a vacant house and uh, the weeds were about four feet high. So he went ahead and took the liberty to mow. I hope whoever owns the property doesn't get upset, but we just couldn't take the risk of a fire traveling across uh, their backyard and then hitting Pop's house here and hitting our house. So we're taking all the precautions that we can to try to keep um, everything on, on the safe side and make sure that we don't have any wildfires tonight. And, you know, 4th of July falls kind of close to a weekend. Today's Thursday, so may have some fireworks over the weekend too, which I really hope not. So honestly, it's really not safe to be doing fireworks this year here in North Texas. It's a uh, it's quite uh, dangerous. And so we're really hoping that people take that into consideration when they start popping them off tonight and uh, making sure that they have a water hose handy and whatever else they may need uh, to keep things under control. There was a fireworks show, I think last night in Haslett, Texas, and it did catch the field on fire. I'm really hoping that people use their common sense and uh, that they pay attention. So is anything really thriving on the farm? No, not really. Uh, we're starting to see a little bit of okra come in um, not much, but I do, I expect that to start picking up here in the next couple of weeks. And the sweet potatoes are looking okay. And some of our peppers are looking okay. I do have some blue lake pole beans in this raised bed and I'm training them to come up so that they'll grow up over uh, this raised bed. And they're looking okay. I think that we might get something. I have a couple of volunteer tomato plants in here that we're gonna go ahead and let continue on. So it's getting close to harvest our pears. So how do you know when a pear is ready to pick? Let's go over here and see. So you take your pear and you turn it horizontal and if it comes off, it's ready. So see that one was ready. I don't think this one is. So we will start to pick some of these. Oh, just fell right off in my hand. So that's how you know when your pears are ready. Now, the funny thing about pears is they don't ripen on the tree. You have to let them ripen once you pick them. And the way you can do that is put them in a brown paper sack and let them sit for a couple of days and just keep, keep checking them, guys. You wanna keep checking them because they'll get soft pretty quick. So we'll be picking some pears. So we wanna go ahead and get them now before we might get some severe weather in the next couple of days because there's a good chance that that hurricane may sling some weather up our way and we could get some winds. Now, tomorrow we're only supposed to be 92 and I really hope and pray that that's the case and I hope that we do get the 40% chance of rain and then next week looks to be a little cool as well. So today, we're gonna be harvesting pears before they hit the ground and we'll leave the ones on that aren't ready but we'll go ahead and get the ones that are. Got some low hanging fruit here. Let's see if it's ready. Yep. So we're gonna get up to about 101 today, guys. And uh, heat index is gonna be much hotter. People are mowing their properties around here, thank goodness, in anticipation of lots of fireworks. So this one's not quite ready, but I've already broken the stem, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it. Look at that crack. Oh yeah, it's dangerously hot. So anything that we do, we have to do early in the morning. These with the blossom in right, don't put those in with yours while they're curing or while they're ripening because um, this will bring disease to the rest of the bunch. So you might just want to chunk those. So it looks like guys, we got almost a bushel basket full of these. So now let me show you what we do next. My goodness, Whew, it's good to be inside. So guys, I got a couple of these very large Aldi bags 
and we're just gonna place them in these brown paper bags and we're gonna watch them over the next week. I have them about maybe a third of the way up. I'm gonna fold my bag up so that they'll stay dark and you wanna keep them in a cool, dark place. Now you wanna keep them closed up because they'll start emitting like a gas that will help them to ripen. Now, some people, if they want to expedite it, they'll put a ripe apple or a ripened banana in their bags. I'm not going to do that because we're so hot and I'm, I don't want to really jack around with fruit flies that we tend to get this time of year whenever it's hot outside and uh, inside is cool. So uh, you want to put them in your paper bag, let them sit between four to seven days. Um, you can also do it on a kitchen counter. I don't have the counter space uh, to do that. So we're going to leave them in the brown paper bags for about four days, I'll start checking at about three. Um, they will emit an ethylene gas that will help them to ripen up and then they'll be ready to eat or to preserve. So I think I'm gonna make some pear butter or some pear jelly. And boy, I sure wish I knew how to make some pear wine and I might look that up. But anyway, um, that's, that's what we're gonna do with ours. It's been several years since we've gotten a good harvest of pears. We got some last year off the little tree in front of Pop's house. But that tree out there, we've not gotten any in several years. And it started back in 2021 after that freeze. And then we think, uh, because we got very little rain in the winter going into 2022, that we didn't keep it uh, hydrated enough. So it was lacking water. And this year we attribute it to all that rain we got in the spring. So make a note of this. Here in North Texas, I'm harvesting my pears on July the 4th. Now there's still some on there that weren't ready to pick. We'll be watching those and pick them as needed. Um, but yeah, I think we got a pretty good harvest. What do you guys think? Anyway, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you're new to our channel and hit that subscribe button. We love each and every one of you and we will be in touch in the days to come. Love you all.